All right, without going into great detail as to where it came from, we are going to use this formula in order to take a look at how far a soccer ball travels when kicked a certain velocity at a certain angle. So it, the formula states that D is equal to 2, distance is equal to 2 times the velocity of the ball squared times the sine of the angle that it was kicked at times the cosine of the angle that it was kicked at all divided by the force due to gravity. So let's take a look at, um, first of all, we are going to keep the velocity constant for our, at least our first analysis. So our velocity, uh, we talked about the fact that the ball by a professional soccer player is um, normally kicked at around 60 miles an hour. So 60 miles per hour is going to be equal to 26.8 meters per second. And since we are defining gravity as 9.8 meters per second squared, since we're using meters and seconds in our gravity number, and we can, we'll go into this a little more detail in class, we're also going to use the meters per second version of our velocity number. So V is going to equal this. G is going to equal this our angle is going to vary. Our angle is going to be our input and our angle is going to be anywhere greater than or equal to zero but less than or equal to 90 degrees. And you can imagine if you're kicking a soccer ball and this is zero degrees along the ground, and this is 90 degrees, it would make sense that you would kick it somewhere at some angle in between there. Maybe you kick it at, you know, a 40 degree angle, or a 30, or a 60, but certainly you're not going to kick the ball in that direction and have it go greater than 90 degrees. And since this is the ground, you're not going to have it go less than zero. So we are going to use this as the numbers that we put in to vary our angle to see how changing this number affects the distance. We're going to do that in Desmos. Um, so in Desmos, I'm going to ask you to put in this equation only instead of D, we are going to put in Y. So for instance, let me scroll down here. Exactly what we will put in Desmos is going to be Y for distance is equal to two times our 2. 26.8 26.8 20, 26.8 2 times our velocity 26.8 squared times the sine and in Desmos you have to go into the functions on the keyboard on the bottom and get sine of x, which is going to be our input, our angle, times the cosine of x, all divided by 9.8. And we talked about the angle is going to be in between certain degrees. So we're going to take our brackets, and right after you type this into Desmos, you're going to type brackets 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 90. All of this will go in the same box on Desmos. So you type this in first and then the brackets will follow it and then we'll talk about what your results look like when you get to class. Alright? Alright, thanks.